Hey guys, what's up? One of the most requested features to show off was iTunes Radio. Now this has been in, in the news for a long time and it's actually incorporated into the iPod app. So once you open the iPod app, you can see the radio in the bottom corner. Once you tap that, you get some choices. You have the featured stations. You can just choose one of these if you want. You can make your own station, for example, by hitting that button right there. And you can search in any artist like if I search on like Green Day you can make a Green Day radio and it'll load up right here and you can see uh, my other stations that I have I've imagined Dragons one and then I made one with one of the default choices which was electronic radio so uh, those are the options right there basically like Pandora either a genre or an artist or a song. So, for instance, uh, if we go into the Green Day uh, thing that I made right now, now it will be playing the music, obviously. I have it down uh, and off so I don't get in trouble with copyright violations, whatever. And then you get these options. You can play and pause it, obviously, that makes sense. You have this little star button. When you hit the star button, you can say, play more like this, don't play this song, or add this to your wish list. So, for instance, if I hit play uh, more like this, and I can hit the next button, and say I get Blink-182, and you can always buy the song on the very top. I believe that's uh, sort of what they're uh, getting at with this feature. Uh, if you like a song, then you'll buy it, and that's sort of how they're making their money back. They're also putting in advertisements, unless you have uh, bought that feature a while back, uh, iTunes Match, or whatever it's called, where you pay like $30 a year or something like that. Then you won't get advertisements, but if you don't, uh, there will be advertisements and you can see, I don't, I don't believe you get unlimited skips. I can try it right now, see how far I get. So, uh, yeah, right there, I skipped a few times, and now uh, it won't let me anymore. So I believe it's pretty much like Pandora uh, in that regard. And uh, something to note, iOS 7 is so glitchy, so if I keep on tapping or something, uh, it's because it's not uh, working well. But... Uh, you can just tap on one of the featured stations on the top and it'll start it like that. But it's a very simple version of pretty much exactly what Pandora is. Uh, they have a lot of music signed to them because of their previous existing uh, partnerships with iTunes. So uh, I believe they have uh, a huge library uh, to choose from. And that's pretty much our first look at iTunes Radio. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.